Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. How have you been? How is your day going? Um, are you okay? I hope you're okay. Let's get into this video. As you can see, I don't have anything on my face right now because I'm really excited about this video actually because I had these things in my possession for a while but I was like, I never tried them together and I forgot about some things that I had until I went and did, uh, I put all my uh, makeup together and organized everything so much better now. Um, I recorded that video, it didn't get a lot of views, but if you're interested in it, I'm going to link it down below so you can go and watch it. But what we're going to try today, we're going to try this Weightless Blur Foundation from Becca with uh, this First Light Priming Filter Instant Complexion Refresh. Well, basically it's a primer. <laughs> so um, we're going to try these two. I do have another thing from Becca that I do want to put on and this is the Skin Love Glow uh, uh, Elixir. I think it's called uh, serum so I want to put this one first and then put those things on top and then see how Let everything me fix this hair situation and get All right so I did put eye cream on so we don't have to worry about that one we're just gonna go immediately with this um, Becca skin love elixir glow nectar um, on their website and say the skin love glow elixir it comes in full size uh, 29 millimeters or 0.984 ounces and it's $48 which is a hefty price but it says it's a light skin clarity boosting serum infused with Becca's glow nectar brightening hydro complex which is a proper blend of natural ingredients to help brighten hydrate and nourish the skin so um we'll see if it does let's, that let's put it on okay this applicator doesn't do anything so i'm just gonna do the old way i right, still so got a little bit out let's push this thing in it smells really good actually it has a really calming scent and the way it goes on the skin it's really nice i mean i can feel my skin is actually <clears throat> sucking all that in and it feels really calming on the skin actually it does look pretty good So that sinks into the skin really fast. I can see my skin having a nice beautiful glow right away. I like the scent. So I it. usually like after I apply my serums to go with a moisturizer. That's how I usually do everything every day. So that's what I'm going to do today as well. I uh, Right now I'm using this from Clean and Clear Watermelon Gel Moisturizer. I actually enjoy this one. It has a really nice scent. But if you don't like melon scent don't buy it <laughs> but this one has a nice scent and it just moisturizes my face really nice so i apply it all every day during the day before makeup because it just leaves my skin hydrated and i like the scent of it i just i do all right now we're ready for the primer Let's see what this primer is supposed to be doing. Becca First Light Priming Filter, Instant Complexion Refresh. One in full size comes with in 30 millimeters, so which is 1.4 ounces, and it's $39. But it, it says it's the best seller, and also it has 2,177 reviews on their website, and it has four and a half stars. So it should be a really good primer. It says instant brightening makeup primer that refresh the dull complexion using coal light technology. Hmm. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Wow. It is definitely purple. Um, wow. We'll 
no. <laughs> um, that definitely took me by surprise. I wonder, does it say how you can you how you should put it on? It says apply one to two pumps onto clean, moisturized skin. Pat and press onto the cheeks, forehead, nose, and chin, blending onto skin. Okay, so pat and press onto cheeks, forehead, nose, and chin. Wow, you can still you can see that purple a little bit on my skin. I wonder. I wonder why they made it purple though acid and vitamin E in it and the key benefits brightens refresh and as non comedogenic okay um, it does leave a cast usually <laughs> primers leave a white cast this one is a purple cast so uh we'll see how that goes um does it refresh my dull skin it wasn't too dull when i applied this so i don't know i i don't think so it feels good it feels good it feels like a cream kind of i don't know but it does feel good on the skin let me see how it looks Huh. Okay, so yeah, around my nose, you can see has I still have some purple speck speckles right here. It does not um it goes into my skin, and on some of areas it does flakes a little bit. Mm, but just a just around my nose, I do see a really big cast purple cast on my forehead so i don't know this looks this is weird but every everywhere else it looks okay it looks like it's already um back to my skin color it's just the forehead right here and around my let's nose. get into this foundation i have a story about this foundation this foundation and no it's 44 dollars at becca uh but i was uh, lucky lucky enough to find this at tj maxx i found it in one of those times when i just went in with my friend for a small thing i didn't even want it to record anything that was a month and a half ago i didn't want to record anything but um i found this uh when i was in there and i was like oh i want to grab that i want to try it and it is it was just eight dollars i only paid eight dollars for this one so this one it is in the shade bamboo i it's a little bit darker than my skin tone but I don't care. <laughs> this was the closest one that I could find over there to my skin tone. All the other ones were either too light or they were too dark. So um, this one, the Weightless Blur Foundation infused with Glow Nectar Brightening Complex. So these two are supposed to go really good together. And this one is $44. It comes in 35 millimeters, 1.23 fluid ounces. It comes, it comes in 24 shades. It says it's a moisturizing medium coverage foundation. So it's medium coverage foundation. Although every time I put it on, I feel like this is full coverage. But it says it's medium coverage foundation with a velvety natural finish. Um, for healthy looking skin. It has 382 reviews on their website and it has four So stars. let's apply it. I tried it before and honestly, I prefer applying it with a brush. So I'm gonna just put it on the brush right here. I put three pumps. Yeah, 
right, so that's a really nice seamless application. I can still see a little bit of the glow from the serum and also from the primer coming through. Um, it is really, it looks really nice, although I do, I do like how it looks and everything. I think when I'm using my other primer, it looks a little bit more full coverage. So I think this one kind of keeps it to a medium coverage, the, this primer. It definitely took away the purple cast that was left by that primer but other than that it looks really nice as a skin like it does have that velvet feeling you don't feel anything on your skin when you apply this one you don't feel like you're gonna if you're gonna touch it you're gonna take it away it doesn't have any scent to it which i'm glad i hate things that have scent to it especially um uh, foundation i don't understand that you don't need a scent into a foundation um I think it's suitable. I do have oily skin, but I think this one is suitable for any any type of skin. Like, and if you have oily or... I think it's going to work well for dry skin as well because it has this beautiful glow. So combined together and even with that serum, I think it's going to work really well for a dry skin as well because it has this beautiful natural glow to it. But it's not too much. I mean, it's not too dewy. It has that perfect natural glow. I like it. I mean, I actually like it a lot. Hmm. No, I, I, the more I look at it, the more I like it. Because I thought, you know, mm, I don't know, maybe my other primer was better with this one. But no, I actually think I like it better like this. Let me put a little bit of concealer. I don't have a Becca concealer, uh, so I'm using Tarte. I was contemplating if I should apply their brightening under eye powder or go with what I usually use, but it's a Becca foundation. It's a Becca video, so let's use all the Becca products that I have. So this one is under eye brightening setting powder that it comes in 2.7 grams, 0 0.09 ounces, and is $25. It says it's a light reflecting loose powder for delicate eye area, you, uh, skin that instantly blurs fine lines and sets makeup. And um, it says sets makeups, no flashback. Let's see how we supposed to apply it. Using a tapered brush, pick up a small amount of powder and top off any excess. Lightly dust on the under eye area after your concealer. Can also be used on the T-zone if needed. Okay, so let's see. We'll do that. Have a brush right here. I'm gonna top off the excess amount. So that's that. Now let's go to the Hydra Mist Powder. This one I've used a lot during the last summer. I did like it and enjoyed it. I just felt that um, during the winter I just didn't want to play with it that much. I don't know why. But we're going to try it again. So this one is Hydromid Set and Refresh Powder, and I have mine in original, which is a sheer creamy beige, as you can see, because the other one was way too dark, and I didn't want to go with that one. It comes in 10 grams product, or 0 0.35 ounces, and it's $39. It is sets and refresh, provides all-day moisture, blows, look of pores, and fine lines, and improves skin tone details how to use this as dip a fluffy face brush into mess free neat netted jar which loads your brush with the perfect amount of product every time dust over freshly applied foundation to set in plus diminish the appearance of lines and pores and improve skin tone can be reapplied throughout the day to refresh makeup and re, re 
energized skin on immediately after applying your favorite foundation. No need to let it sit to receive maximum results. Even when cooling sensation has dissipated, the product still works to set and refresh Make makeup. Oh yeah, I remember this one feels like water in your skin. I forgot that that's how it is. Um, and it has this really beautiful thing that is closed. I absolutely love this about this powder because I have so many powders with, uh, I have so many problems with the other powders that doesn't have a lid here to keep everything secure. And I'm just gonna go with big fluffy brush. That's how it looks. I like it. It has a very natural look to it. Um, how my skin looks right now. The only thing that I don't like is under my eyes because I honestly don't like this powder that much. I'm going to try and see if I can fix it. It does not blur my fine lines. It actually goes into them and makes them appear bigger. Let me come and show you over here so you can see right there it does have it just went into my uh lines but foundation looks really good i mean you still can see my pores you can still see through uh a little bit of redness and all that but it looks really nice it looks very natural very you don't feel anything on your skin but what we're gonna do today i'm gonna try and wear this as long as i can uh, because uh, today actually we're going to go out. Yes. I haven't been out in a, over a week, to be honest with you. I'm getting a little crazy. I'm getting a little nuts <laughs> being home this long. I also miss my job a lot. But um, we're going to go out to get some groceries because my fridge is looking really sad right now. And I'm going to check in with you in a few hours. So kind of show you my final look as also because I'm going to go and film another video with an eye look mm -hmm. and then come back and kind of show you how everything looks like. And then we're going to go from there. All right. So this is how my makeup looks like right now. We're going to check in in a few minutes to see uh how everything looks like but for now that's how it looks like you still can see through my skin and all that jazz but everything looks really nice right now no creasing or uh, nothing around my nose nothing like that because this is in my this is in natural lighting so let me show you the time it is 155 it is 155 56 right there and uh yeah we're gonna check in in about a few hours see ya hey guys so we're back here unfortunately i wasn't able to come back here all day but right now it's 11 32 p.m and i am here let's just check in and see what's going on i know a lot over here started missing and i noticed uh this um doing this around i would say six seven hours in um but i did eat a lot uh, <laughs> and i've been drinking a lot and yeah you can see that right there around my nose it's still very much okay. Didn't separate it. Yes, I am very oily, but that's nothing new. I know that usually that's happening. But other than that, I still pretty much stay the same. You know, my face still looks really nice and beautiful. It's just that I am pretty much oily. But yeah. That's what happens. It's just right here that is. But I think it's my fault because I keep touching over there and when I eat and stuff like that. But pretty much that's how it looks like. I had it on for like nine, nine and a half hours. Mm, yeah. If I wouldn't touch my face and I think I touched my face right here. 
I think it would have been okay, but yeah, this is how it looks like right now. I would say it's a really nice foundation if I set it in with my different powder. I would not put that powder that I put in today. Um, I thought the primer and all that is going to look a little bit better, but I guess not. Um, so, yeah, that's all I have for you today. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time with another video. Bye.